Hey everybody, welcome back to Alina of the Arena, where Alina the Samurai again made it to the final boss and again perished on the final boss. I think we were really unlucky on this. I was thinking about this afterwards and we were pretty unlucky that our double Fortune Bracer build discounted two energy from like, you know, over two different items. Like we got one energy discount on both things with the amount of like, you know, powers I had in this deck, high cost cards. I think we were a little bit unlucky not to get a great discount there. We were also really unlucky, I think, with how Zero Zone worked out. I think this is pretty good. What I will say is we definitely should have upgraded this just to, to make it more playable. I was basically, I think I basically rationalized it as if we have Zero Zone in our hand, we're going to play it. We don't need the energy discount on it. But I guess with my build, since I had so much draw in my build, we could always have drawn into it. And basically that's what happened. We kept drawing into Zero Zone. I never got a good turn off with Zero Zone that I could set up on. And we perish. We were still pretty close though, but not quite there. The other thing I want to mention, by the way, we're going to play another Samurai run because I'm determined to win this on Hellwalker 10. The other thing I was thinking about, and I was talking about this with a commenter, that I've never really valued Shield Bash and Jumping Attack that much. And they have told me to rationalize it in this way, that I shouldn't think of it as a two cost attack with, you know, a movement associated there. I should just think of it as I can either use it as a two cost move or I can use it as a two cost attack. So I think that's how I'm gonna to start to mentalize this. Equally, I think I might overvalue roll slightly and I think I might need to reevaluate how I value roll. I think most of this comes down to an early build where we were like, I think I called it like the Sonic build where I had two rolls and we were discounting them to one energy each and that was super powerful. But unless you can discount them, they kind of just sit in your hand and take up space. And you're never really going to play them at four, so... I don't know. I don't think they're bad. I just don't think uh, they're as quite as good as I thought they were. Anyway, Samurai build, faint. We have the Uchi Katana, as usual. Let's see what we have in a mystery shop. We have something called the Samurai Brace. That seems like it is designed for this character. Oh, awesome muscle memories there, which is the, the card I was talking about for... The roll build. Gain one energy each turn, reduce max HP by 30. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Th this is actually a really interesting shot. I kind of want none of it, but want all of it at the same time. Muscle memory is kind of fun. I might grab it, even though I don't have anything that procs off it right now. Actually, I, I have the roll to start with, now that I think about it. I can't not have it. So maybe muscle memory is something I go for. The Samurai Bracer seems pretty good, since I like these focus builds. By the way, someone mentioned like I didn't need Yuji Katana on my previous run. Like I could have just got rid of it and used the Meme Hammer or something instead. Or, I can't remember what the other weapon we were running with at the time it was, like the crossbow, I think. But I do quite like this focus. Like, it's two additional damage as your first attack per turn. That's pretty good value. Over a turn, presumably, I'm going to use at least two attacks. So, that's like having a damage on each attack. So, it's like a 50 gold upgrade from a general weapon. I, I, I think it's pretty good. And it synergizes with other cards in my deck. So, I quite like this focus mechanic. I think it's pretty strong. So that goal, I think I will grab Samurai Bracer. I think I'm going to grab Water Bracer as well. I do like the little tick heals after each battle. It means I'm less likely to need to use a rest. Which means I'm more likely to use an upgrade. The Monkey Charm slightly scares me, but it's more out of my own incompetence. I think I kind of like it, but I don't think I will use it to its best benefit. Or at least, I think I could misplay a turn and take 40 damage. So, I think I want the Wiggle Room right now. Especially since I'm recording this first thing in the morning, so I'm pretty tired. I will grab Muscle Memory. The final thing is, do I reroll and go for another card, or do I grab this Broad Axe? The knockback is pretty useful as a defensive tool, but I think I value the Meme Hammer more than the Broad Axe. Like, even this, so... The Uchi Katana will go to basically a 1-4 on the first attack, 1 power 4 damage. This is 1-3. But it puts a fatigue in your hands. Like, the Uchi Katana is arguably better than the Broad Axe just at the start.
Uh, I could also go for Breathing Technique. This is another card I don't ever take. Return a card from your discard pile to your draw pile. I think it's just harder to play with your discard pile in this game at the moment. There are very few tutors for it, and it doesn't like specifically tutor for one thing, it's just a random card. I guess if I got to the point where my deck was thin enough that we knew what was always going back to the, the discard pile, it could work. Then I have Echo. Is Echo going to work with anything in here? I guess Echo works with Empty Mind. I could exhaust something and pull it back with Echo later. Also, it works with Powers, but it's another card that would be useless off the get-go. I, I could pull Muscle Memory back as well. You know what? Let's try it. Give me Echo. This is kind of weird. I normally try and build for the present, whereas I've really built for the future right now. Where's my other rest? The other one's up there. Uh, all right, we'll go for a fight. I was considering meditating and grabbing a card, but I think I would prefer to remove still. Okay, you're doing 22 damage. That is too much damage. So, sayonara. So we're getting three focus per turn. That's very, very nice. I don't think I'm ever going to need the roll against this guy. You know what? Just get rid of the strike too. I just want to one-shot you. And that turn has come now. We will do a 27 damage strike and you're dead. That should be all the gold. I just literally one turn killed this thing. That turn was on my like third turn, but still. Okay, Heavy Blow, another card I don't often take. However, it does work pretty nicely with... Where has it gone? The thing I just took? Muscle Memory. So you know what? I'm going to try you, Heavy Blow. <clears throat> and then give me another fight. Okay, this one's a little bit spookier. The muscle memory doesn't do anything for me right now. Honestly, the echo I'd be pretty happy just to get rid of. So I think that's my game plan. I'm going to move away. We'll empty mind. Echo can go. I'm going to get rid of the strike. And I'll get rid of the muscle memory. Okay, so my strike, my heavy blood does 29 damage. Am I willing to take some damage just to one-shot kill one of these guys? Yeah, you know what? I heal at the end of the battle anyway. Let's get this thing moving. Okay, we now have a kick, which is lovely. We'll move here. I'll pick up a floor rock. Strike. Strike. Kick. Okay, 12 damage is what we're looking for. I have kick again. That's wonderful news. I will never need roll. Ah, uh, well, you know what? I'm fine with this still. I should have probably have kept one of the defends, but we have some in our deck. There we go. This will work. Lovely. Beef up entertainer. And another kick. So knockback doesn't work tremendously well against every enemy. So I'm happy having one in my deck. I think I will grab a beef up. That gives me some scaling. Means if I can stay alive for a while, we'll do more damage. And I can thin my deck out to find it more often. Don't be shy. Come test your strength. Win a prize if you beat this young man at arm wrestling. Uh, tall Sunderman wearing shades. Yeah, it's Leori or him wear. Challenge the... Boy, we can get Muscle Pain and get a random weapon. Sure. The Great Blade. You know what? You do serve a purpose. So, I'll give you that. I won't meditate to remove this from my deck. I'm pretty content having it in there, to be honest with you. Let's do the other fight. I think I found my line now. Speaking of which, I think we might be Great Blading on the first turn. 
Oh my god, you're doing a lot of damage. Okay, move... Move here. Equip the Great Blade. You're gonna need it. If I faint, I hit all of these guys. And I'll get half the focus back, so I'll get 12 focus after this. Which means my strike does 22. Okay, we're taking zero damage because I'm a genius. The Great Blade immediately pays off. And now we can take our time and also unequip the Great Blade. Give me the Uchi Katana. I'll beef up. I'll strike you. I'll strike you. And the disrespect. Bloodthirsty. Draw one card for each surrounding unit. What do you become? I do have huge respect for the Truffle Shuffle. If I'm going to try and use the Great Blade, I'm probably not going to take the Meme Hammer if it shows up. I do kind of want to check this out, though. Bloodthirsty, I think, again, is another card I've never, ever picked up. It's not great, in my opinion. I don't think it's as good as the Truffle Shuffle, so no. Crippling Trap versus what I've got here. Uh, I think this will save more than eight block will and I like the rock because I can remove the I can't remember what it's called like the restrained tag okay rest here we're gonna train what am I gonna train well actually what do you become when you train oh you removes exhaust uh, not a huge problem actually beef up is a good shout Muscle memory might be a good shout, but it's not great right now. Echo becomes one cost. Oh, I, I tell you what, faint is probably the answer. I really like faint. Do damage and then gain like that damage back again on the upgrade. Very nice. Okay, you're not worded the way I thought you were for a second. So it's one focus to start of each turn, not one focus more than you would gain normally. Uh, okay, I'm going to remove a card. Even though I can kind of remove cards with Empty Mind, I think we've come to the conclusion now that... You have to have a reasonably thin deck anyway. I think it's best to use Empty Mind just to remove stuff that... You don't want for that battle or like status effects. I don't think I need to fill my deck with like guards and stuff. So that goal I'm gonna remove a guard. One mana block four. Not that I'm interested. Okay, this is the scariest elite fight. There is a part of me that wants to stay in here. Because if I kick them, I stun two of them and I only take 18 damage, then my reasoning becomes though why take any damage? And to that, I cannot find an answer. So I think what I'm going to do is move. Did there really have to be a rock there? I like do dealing this fight with, sorry, dealing with this fight with range, but I can't really do that at the moment. I could put the Crippling Trap here, I guess. I kind of want to put it up here just to catch someone in the movement, because I think this guy's going to go right then down. But I'm going to put it here just to make sure I actually do hit someone. And then I think I end turn. Okay, he didn't path the way I thought he was going to. What an awful hand. I'd have loved to have got out the Great Blade and used, you know, the Focus thing. We might have honestly been able to kill someone. But well, we can't now. So move, end turn. Right, this guy is doing a little charge maneuver. What order are we going in? You're going first. But I don't think your friend hits you still. Honestly, this might be just a turn for Shuffle Shuffle. Shuffle Shuffle. 
muscle memory. I will reduce the cost of roll. I think it might be useful this battle. And then gonna be foul actually. You know what? Just take 23 damage immediately. No, I'm gonna beef up. Yeah, I'm content with this. I am trapped against the wall right now, which is a little bit spooky. Okay, it's very spooky now. Okay, this is what I was hoping for. Saved, saved. We can faint, which will give me 24, 36. It'll give me 36 focus on top of what I've got, so I'll go to 48 focus. So I think I one-shot everyone with heavy blow afterwards. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's the damage numbers I was looking for. Again, give me all your gold, audience. Another beef up. Not really the play. I think Mind's Eye has to be a, a game for me. The problem with the Katanas, and I guess how it's balanced, is that I can't have a shield at the same time. So it makes the block cards considerably less good, especially on these harder difficulties. So I want something that is defensive that isn't a block. So give me a mind's eye. And give me another event. You're surrounded by the mafia whose bosses grow tired of losing bets. They offer you to help with them. Uh, sorry, help them win by doing something extra during the next match. And promise to hand them pay in advance. If I can win the fight in five turns, or I'll lose all my gold. Perform a six hit combo, or lose all your gold. Finish the fight without taking any damage, or lose 200 gold. I can win in five turns. I'll take your bet. Okay, this is kind of the nightmare fight for me. <laughs> Great start. Uh, we'll move, I will empty mind, and I think I will remove every single card in my hand. We are, oh, I've got the Great Blade again. I have to remember to re-equip the Katana. Oh, God. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Move here. Do the Giga Faint. Mind's Eye. Kick. So this is turn three now, as I understand it. Man, could you not be one tile closer? If I move back one, it doesn't actually move the goalposts for me because I still can only be surrounded by three people. I'll just kill him on the next attack instead. So you know what, I think we go. I think it's go time. What have I exhausted? Oh, I could grab mine's eye back, but that's not really what I want. I think I just want to hit you. Yes. Give me the Uchi Actually, I don't think I can do the Uchi Kitana. I think I do have to use the Great Blade. I just need to kill as much as possible. Beef me up. I've kind of had a genius idea, but I think it's too slow. If I moved there and shuffled, I could make him shoot his friend for 16. But, oh, actually, you know what? Maybe that isn't as god-awful as I thought it was. Because now I can smack this guy instead. Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't want you to die, though. Yeah, should have had the katana equipped. Okay, you know what? We're going to muscle memory, and we're going to beef up. I think next turn is the final turn. I, I think I have to kill everyone. How dare you move away from me? How very dare you? I, I think I've lost my contract with the Mafia. Yeah, I, I definitely have. Okay, just don't get killed then. That's a new game plan. 
The Mafia are going to beat me up. Take my money. So close. Uh, faint you. Ick you. I'm going to take my time now because I want to remove this. Uh, whatever it's called from my deck. I forgot what it's called. Muscle pain. I want to get muscle pain out of my deck. Okay, we don't need guards. I don't need the echo. We don't need the fatigue. Okay. Remove you. And then just strike you. Sorry, mob boss. Goodbye, 357 gold. Cripple. You know what? With my kind of build right now, that's not too bad. Swipe has some potential, but my, my issue with Swipe is that why grab Swipe when I can just hold on to another weapon that does have the AoE attack? I know the answer to this. If I had to Swipe on a Katana, I wouldn't be filling my deck with fatigues, but I don't really care about that that much. Give me Cripple. It's another target for muscle memory, and it gives me more of a reason to upgrade it. God, Ucha Katana is everywhere, apparently. Give me the crossbow. For range. Hey, we got a gold for that battle, at least. Not the absolute worst. Honestly, no more than I normally waste at the shop. Right, let's keep forgetting these guards. We'll get rid of red guards now. Give me another elite. Okay, snag is the mechanic I was trying to remember before. So do I want to stand next to this guy? Yeah, because there's just a rock here, so why not? I'm happy enough to muscle memory the cripple as well. I think that's a pretty good target. I'll cripple you. Put vulnerable on you. I'll strike you. You snag me. I sleep. I throw a rock at you. Can I kill you this turn? Or break you? If I empty mine my beef up, my shuffle, my strike, that will only give me nine focus. That'll take me to 12 focus. So this will be extra nine damage. I think it's actually exactly it would exactly break you. Yeah. I can count. Oh my god, what a perfect kick opportunity. I can also pull back a card if I want. Like, you know what? Echo the muscle memory. And now my roll is one. Is it the return of Sonic the Hedgehog build? Also, what's your power move? Yeah, it's on kill. I thought it was. Okay, you're going to snag me again. Don't worry, I've got another pocket rock for you. And I'm not afraid to use it. Faint. Strike. That being said, I don't want to use it if I don't have to, so I'll just roll away. Interesting play again. You've stacked up. You've clearly not learned your lesson from before. I'm going to cripple you. I'm going to kick you. The stun. And then heavy blow you. Move in. Smack him. You know what? Let's mind's eye just so I can stay in and just keep smacking him. Uh, I'll cripple you. I'll give you a heavy blow. Don't say I didn't ever do anything nice for you. Then you know what? I'll kick you out of the way. Ah, I forgot that was a knockback effect. Yes. So this is now a small problem. Okay. Equip the crossbow. Oh, 
Put the crossbow in blue. That's smarter. Empty mind the guard, the fatigue. Just do this for now. Uh, I might have misplayed this tremendously. We're fine. Reload your weapon. And shoot. You know what? I set in that trap on purpose. I was just giving you a chance. So parry is an obvious like suggestion here. It works well with muscle memory. I would try to, I would like to try a final blow deck at some point. But I just don't know how I'd get it to work. It just seems so underpowered, like underwhelming. It takes a turn for it to become a strike. Like you, you'd basically have to just be able to tank damage for so long. I, I don't know. I think this might actually be unusable. Warning Flames, Arsenal. Maybe if you could get something that triggers like a retain effect. Like if a card has retain, like trigger it or something. But I don't know. I don't know how you would exactly work that into the card text without it just being specific for final blow or the, you know, the equivalent for the defensive version of it. Parry. Deal 6 damage, gain block equal to the damage dealt. I mean, it is an option again for defensive reasons. Arsenal, I really want to try at some point, but this isn't the build right now for it. Give me a parry. I don't think I'll ever be sad to see a parry. Hello, Knuckle Dagger. Here comes a question. Do I rate the Uchikatana more than the Knuckle Dagger? This builds up my focus slowly. This has a multi-attack on it. Do I get more damage from the Knuckle Dagger Dagger? So I don't know why I said Dagger Dagger then. The Knuckle Dagger power move than I would do from the Uchi Katana over the course of a fight. And I think this is closer than you'd think it would be. Uh, I want the crossbow still. Uh, I'll get rid of pocket rock for now. Uh, <coughs> or will I? No, I, I think I'll still keep the pocket rock over the small shield potion. For some reason, I thought that was a muscle potion. Long sword, knuckle dagger. It hurts to like say no to knuckle dagger. It's one of my favorite items. I'm going to stick with Uchi Katana. I really want whatever the Katana's called. Was it called Murashashi or something? Or Murasima? I, I can't remember what it's called, but the multi attack Katana. That I think we could have some serious fun with. Okay. This could be a really huge turn for me, honestly. I have a play. I don't even know if this is lethal. I imagine it is lethal to almost every creature in this game. Move here. Great blade yourself. Hit faint on five people. That will give you 55 focus. I will take some damage, but I'll heal in the next battle anyway. <laughs> My strike now does 65 damage. Yeah, pretty good. Goodbye, everyone. Ooh, some pocket dust. That I'm probably taking forwards, so I'm going to throw a rock at you. You know what? I won't need this rock anymore. Parry's perfect. We want the katana equipped again, though, first. You know what? Move on to the pocket sand as well, just in case you need it. Bunk. Right, can you two stop raging and come towards me? You know what, I don't even need... 
I don't need to do that. I can sit here and get stronger on my own. I can just shoot with a crossbow instead when I'm ready. So let's beef up muscle memory. Discount cripple. I think we're going to be using it more. Echo the muscle memory. And then do the roll. Meaning this turn kind of didn't make any sense. Or it had no worry to it. It made plenty of sense. Again, I'd like to remind you two that my focus is going up continuously. Do you think I'm afraid to just get rid of all of my cards in my hand right now? Except for the roll? Because there's some cost fallacy on roll that I've used a card on it already that I won't remove it. I I'm just powering up. This isn't even my final form. This might be though. I'll shoot you, I'll reload, I'll shoot you. I'll end turn. Okay, let's equip the katana again. Or should I? Yeah, why not? Mind die yourself. Roll here just to get it out of your hand. Empty mind. Get rid of them. I'll keep the cripple. Right, this next attack will miss me, whatever happens. But it doesn't matter, I have lethal. Bonk. Ooh. Lash out is an interesting suggestion. Because that would give me two ways to remove fatigues from my deck. I could get rid of them with empty mind and I could get rid of them with the lash out. Think fast is something I'd normally just, I would always just take. Almost like, you know, without thinking. Because I just don't think it's a bad card. But why draw a card when every card in my deck is good? Perhaps forehead. Let's try it. You know what? Because we definitely ran into that problem last run that I just had too many fatigues in my deck and I couldn't deal with it. Should give myself some options. Right, 258 is not a lot of money. I don't really want to upgrade anything right now, so I think I'll go for cards. Power through is the other way to get rid of them. I probably would have taken this, but I'll take Protective Ward instead. I am actually actively looking for this. So the other shot might as well now be used for a stat upgrade. So that's all I can afford. I, I think we'll go with the Great Blade. Let's, we've had like some fun times with it already. Let's put another stat on this. We're going to heal this when we go into the champion anyway, so we're going to do a little train. And what do I want to train now? What do you become? Oh, you just become zero. Eh. You become zero as well. I think you're more damaged. Oh, you're also more vulnerable. Ah, that could be good as well. There is a big temptation. In fact, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do muscle memory. I still don't think we need to upgrade it because I only have three targets for it at the moment. One, two, three. Yeah, I have three targets. No, I have four. So actually, we could use it, but it's highly unlikely that I draw two, two cost or more cards in my hand twice and set up with Echo. But you know what? In the future, we will do. Okay. Hello, my friend. You are kickable. Excellent news. I will walk into you then. I will strike you. I will empty my mind. I will remove the guard. I will remove the strike. I do not need it. I will kick you. Good day to you, sir. Again, I think the best way to do this fight is to, uh, especially as a samurai, I think it would just be to wait continuously until I have enough focus just to like one shot him. But that's kind of boring, so I'm not gonna do that. Is discounting a parry good enough for muscle memory? Probably. I think we'll just do some setting up here. I'll throw a rock at you, cause who cares? I'll muscle memory. I'll echo the muscle memory back. 
And I'll set up Mind's Eye. Okay, I can Truffle Shuffle you here. And this is a decent cripple. Okay, we have Protective Ward now. Can I just break you, though? <coughs> Beef up, faint. That's 11. I'll then gain 11 focus. I'll take me to 14 focus. That's really not the question. The question is, is we're getting 11 more attack. So it's 11 plus... Uh, 20. So 31. So yeah, I will break you. In fact, it's more than that because of the vulnerable. Okay, let's go. Vulnerable plus faint as well. Very nice wombo combo. Ooh, more actions as well. Very, very handy. Another faint as well. I see you're flirting outrageously, game. Okay, I'll faint and I'll give you a heavy blow because I'm being generous today. I should have kicked you, actually. You're going to jump into the center of the arena. Okay, missed three damage. I'm going to... Hmm... There's a part of me that's considering dropping the crossbow for the searing ashes and then just staying in there. Let's do it. Alina, she's a strong samurai. In fact, I could also just let this go with precognition. Hello, mini bonk as well. You're another thing that could be very useful. Get the muscle memory with nothing else in my hand. Great, thanks. I might as well move here. Parry is going to do 18 block. I mean, Precognition is just going to do its thing. Uh, I'll let Precognition do its thing, I think. I'll, I'll hit you with the, the parry instead. And I'll empty my mind and remove this guard. You push me onto a rock, you fool. That's what I wanted you to do. Okay. Am I at the point where I'm basically just drawing my deck? No, I'm not. It's purely coincidence I drew most of the cards in my hand again. 32 damage. The cripple seems obvious here. Eh? If I cripple parry, I break you, I think. Oh, I don't. I couldn't. I didn't account for the focus correctly. Uh, okay. In which case, I'm going to use some, some ashes. I'll ash you. Then I'll empty my mind. I'll remove the fatigue. Honestly, remove the strike as well. I think this is good enough for muscle memory. We are going to break you here. Am I okay with that? I think I am. I think I'm also okay now with going with the Great Blade. And getting some fatigue to my deck for the latch out. Do a little bit of extra damage. Faint. I don't think I want the other status effects right now. Faint. Strike. I don't think the beef will ever pay for itself now. I will kick you this time. We should be fine. 
Emphasis on the shot, though. Move forwards. <clears throat> Get the mini bonk out. And cripple him with a mini bonk. Did I not push the power move? Eight on the wrong colour. Okay. It's okay, we had the health tank one damage anyway. I just punch you for no reason. I think we had to. It didn't matter that we've health tanked the damage. Could have been better though. Because now it's knocked me back. Yeah, that's that's awkward. Move in. Protective Okay, also, we don't need the mini bonk this turn. Give me the katana back. Parry. Protective ward. Right, he's tired now. He's fatigued. Now's our time to strike. Move in. Equip this again. Give him a heavy blow. Lash out at him. Give him a kick. Right, put the mini bonk on blue. Walk up to him. Power up your next maneuver. Cripple him with a mini bonk. Now that I think about that, I didn't need to do it. I broke him. You know what? That's a bit of a waste. Bit of a whiff. But we're going to kill him now. We're going to kill him? Cripple? He has all the vulnerable on him. Empty mind, remove beef up, we don't need it anymore. Honestly, the kick is worthless. I'm actually worried, I think I'm not gonna do it. I think we're gonna die. Uh, Cause you're gonna get armor again. I think I, that turn being fucked up has actually killed me. No, I need the crossbow again. We can get out of this. That's the answer to my problem now. A crossbow. <clears throat> okay. I'll get it next turn. It's fine. It's fine. He's tired. We can pick up the crossbow. Did I remove roll from my deck as well? I think I did. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. We might need that to stay, you know, alive. Right, put the crossbow on blue. Also keep the Uchi Katana. In fact, keep the Uchi Katana for this turn. Empty mind the strikes. Don't need them. I have a 43 damage cripple. I have a 39 damage parry. I basically draw this hand every turn now because the other card is Empty Mind. Please draw into Faint Parry again. That's all I ask of you. If you not, I mean, we can't really fail. As long as we draw Parry, I think everything's okay. <clears throat> that gives me more focus. We drew Parry. We didn't draw Faint though. That's very annoying. <clears throat> but it's fine. <clears throat> we have to parry first. I know it looks wrong, but I'm going to parry cripple. You're throwing fish bones at me. Lovely. I could stay here as well. Sorry. I can't parry cripple if I move, but I can stay here and use the great blade instead. That will put state effects in my deck, though. Which do power up Lash out, though. Man, not discounting this cripple has been really painful for me. I could also just use the crossbow and just stay here. Uh, 
Give me the Great Blade. I, I think I want the extra two damage. I have to... Oh, I can't attack afterwards, though, can I? I only got one power move. Okay, give me the crossbow. The crossbow was the answer. Put it on blue. Otherwise, that's a big mistake. That blocks 42. Reload with the lash out. Cripple him. He'll take all the damage next turn. He's going to stun me, though. He's tired, though. That's fine. We have an empty mind for this. Exact purpose. Remove it. Empty your mind. Forget about the stun. Faint him. That's all our focus. Break him? I think we're good. This was closer than it should have been. That's all I'll say. Imagine that I'd left him on one damage after missing a kick earlier on. I, I just said like we, we've been undervaluing the shield charge, but mine's I. You know what, let's do it. Let's grab a shield charge, even though I'm never ever gonna grab block. If I hit with it, I get it discounted. It's also high cost. Yes, Rabbit Charm seems wonderful. <sighs> Although... <laughs> God damn it. The Berserker Bracer is a really fun bracer. It lets you do builds where you self-burn yourself to gain strength. Which, in theory, works quite nicely with the focus build, because then Faint will build you back more focus. Same with, like, Ixin. God damn it. So the Rabbit Charm is definitely better now. Berserker Bracer would be better in the future. I think we have to grab Rabbit Charm. Just because I've got two Bracers already. I'm sorry, Berserker Bracer. I really like you. Also, I've never seen a bottle be, like, dropped. Just a, a normal bottle. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything helps me out, and I'll see you on the next part. Goodbye.